Warning, this video contains gratuitous images of my horrible dancer feet. Sorry. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the heel hang. Now this is a move that unfortunately does just require strength and training and takes a while to get. However, I do have some tips that are going to really help you achieve it. Plus I'm going to show you how I get in and out of it and a fun little combo that you can add on to the end. I love doing this heel hang because I think it's a little bit more interesting than the foot hang. You just see so many people doing the foot hang. This is a nice way to make yourself stand out a little. It's actually easier for me than the foot hang because my arches are very very round and my feet want to just roll off the hoop when I do a foot hang so actually this heel hang is easier for me and you might find that it is for you depending on your foot and ankle shape as well before we get started though please take a minute to subscribe to my channel because I've got lots of tutorials and aerial choreography and all sorts of stuff over there it's really fun plus there's a great community of people so take a minute subscribe and don't miss out on anything that is going on on my channel a couple of pro tips for this one. The first is you need to build up the resistance and calluses on the backs of your heels the same way that you did for your hands and for the backs of your knees. So you're going to just be slightly sore with the skin back there for a little while. Secondly, try to hold it a little longer each time you do it. So if the first time you do it, you count to five, the next time try counting to six or try counting to seven and keep going until you can hold it for a really long time. And thirdly, don't get discouraged. This is all about strength in the backs of your legs. So it's just gonna take some time to build that up. Plus, it's a hard move. There's a reason that this one is worth a lot of points in competitions and gets applause in shows, etc. Keep working and don't give up, and I think you'll surprise yourself with how quickly it starts to improve. Also, make sure you train it regularly. I like to have a list of moves that I try to do at least once every time I train. So I'll just set aside maybe half an hour, do everything that I'm working on at least once just to make sure I'm keeping the idea in my head and the strength in my body. This is a very similar setup to the foot hang. Place the bottom bar of the hoop slightly farther down your leg than your heel. So you want to be able to scrape your leg back against the bar of the hoop and gather up that skin. The little folds in your skin are going to really help hold you on. Plus, you want to have the hoop above the little bone that is your heel bone. You can feel it sticking out the back of your heel. And that way, that bone is going to help you stay on as well. To start training the heel hang, I'm going to put one foot and then the other in my heel hang position on the center bottom bar of the hoop with my feet together. Remember to scrape your legs against the hoop to build up those little skin wrinkles that will help hold you on. And then when you're ready, take one hand and then the other to the backs of your knees and pull with your arms to hold your body in this nice little tight tucked position. This is a much easier position to hold than the full heel hang extended position, so it's going to be a great way to start training that strength and getting ready to move forward. After you've trained that version for a little while and it starts to feel a little easier, you can make it more difficult by moving your hands towards your bum. That way you are not holding yourself in as tight of a tucked position. You're letting your body open up a little bit. It builds up the strength even more in your legs and helps you move towards the full position. And the final step is to let go of your arms entirely and go into the full extended heel hang position by arching your back and bringing your head underneath your hips. You should have your heels, hips, and head Head all in one line directly underneath the hoop. To come out of it, put your hands back on your thighs and use your arms to help bring your body up and grab the bottom of the hoop. As you're coming up, try to move as little as possible. This is the part where I always have the most danger of coming off the hoop because I shift my weight around trying to get back up and it's easy to let a heel slip off. So make sure that you're doing as little movement as possible until you have your hands back on the bottom of the hoop. And for extra bonus points, you can try this with a spin. This is gonna make it a bit harder, but again, you just have to work up to being able to do it. I strongly suggest starting to learn this on a low hoop with a mat, only because your head is facing down and it's easy to have a little slide off the hoop when you're first figuring this one out. Here's how I pair it with a little elbow hang for my competition routine. As I come out of the heel hang, I lift my legs off of the hoop, I bring one leg forward and then sneak it between my arm and the bottom of the hoop as I bring my other leg forward and then hook it on into a single knee hang. 
From here, you can do a lot of different options, but I'm choosing to hook on my elbow, grab my opposite leg, and come into this elbow hang half split. I do have a tutorial for this on my channel. The link to that is in the description, and also it should be on the top of your screen right now. There you go, those are my best tips for training the heel hang. This is always a really fun move once you start to get it down. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's a lot of great stuff over there and lots of other moves for any level. I also have videos about broader subjects like how to film aerial for Instagram, how to do aerial choreography, all of my costumes, all kinds of different subjects that will interest you if you love aerial. So make sure that you check it out and subscribe.